Hey writers, so today for writing workshop, you're going to plan your story by doing what we call oral rehearsal. You tell your story out loud. So I'm going to show you how I use my storytelling voice to tell the story in scenes, not in summaries, right? We don't want to summarize the whole story. We want to tell it scene by scene. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I've gone back to the story arc I made yesterday because that's the story I chose. So using my story arc, I'm going to tell my story out loud. This will help me before I get ready to draft tomorrow. So, let's see. Let me set myself in the scene. All right. The very beginning, it says character setting. I was with my cousin, me, and the guy and who was bothering me. Um, and I was in the grocery store line trying to get into the line, not near the back of the store, near the freezers. Okay. So, here's where my story starts. I was going straight past the meat, and I needed to make a left to go into aisle six. But there was a guy standing there, his cast in the middle of the floor, blocking the entranceway to the checkout line. I waited for a second, and then I realized he and his friends were going to be a little while. So I inched a little bit further into the line. Finally, when I got into line, then it started moving. So now I'm going to move on to my rising action. Probably a new paragraph. So I was in the line, and that guy had gotten out of the way, so other people could get on the line. And then one of the guys who was with him, his friend, popped right into line behind me. I was confused because I thought they were looking at the freezers. But then I realized, okay, are you messing around in this aisle, or are you trying to get on checkout line, or are you, lastly, buying things while you're online? So he and his three friends were already close and sort of already annoying me because they blocked me getting into line. So I felt a little bit of redness on my face, right? I was feeling irritated already. Then I'm standing next to the fudge cookies, my favorite part of the store. I grabbed one, threw it into the cart, and then the line stopped. I was staring down at the floor because it says, Please keep six feet apart. They had a piece of tape on the floor reminding us to stay socially distant. I was also getting really, really hot from wearing that mask and wearing my winter coat. All of a sudden, I felt a tap behind me. I thought, you know what? This guy's not paying attention enough that he's going to bump into me with his car. It's got, I got to have hit something else. I turned around. His cart is right behind me. If I back up an inch, I would have touched his cart. So I looked at him, and then I turned back around. I moved, maybe I inched up a little bit. And then guess what? I got bumped again. And here's where I am. So after I got bumped again, right, my face was starting to get more red. And then I turned around and looked at him again, but he wasn't looking at me. So I thought, what is wrong with this guy? So I turned back around and I texted my cousin because I thought, well, she had said, I got to go get something right when I was getting on the line. So I said, hurry up, the line's moving. And before I, uh, she even got the message, I saw her coming up the aisle. So I thought, thank goodness, because this man is really bothering me behind me. So she came up and then I just gave her a look. Like she knew I was annoyed. And I looked at her again, and then I glanced my eyes back in the direction where the guy was. So I looked at her, and then I said, like, look over here with my eyes. But I didn't actually say it out loud because the guy was right behind me. So she looked at where my eyes looked and saw the guy, too. Then the line went forward. I was all the way up near the juice section, right? I thought, oh, good, this line's moving. I turned around again to look at the man, and he was looking at me. So when I moved forward this time, he didn't move. I think he took a hint and kept his distance from me. By the time I got to the very front there, the guy had said, okay, move up, aisle six, head down. And I thought, oh my goodness, what a relief. Now I have to go home and wash my coat. So what I did, writers, was I was thinking about the scenes in my story when I was telling it out loud. I thought, okay, it started when I was trying to get onto the line 
And then when I was on the line, I was in the aisle near the freezers. And then when I got to the end of the line, I was at the front of the store moving to the checkout counter. Okay, but most of the story happened when I was online. So think about where you really want to tell your story, where that scene is. Remember, when you're telling your story out loud today to someone, make sure you tell it in scenes, bit by bit. You don't have to do any writing for today. Tomorrow, you're going to actually draft. I take that back. You don't have any writing to do today, but you're going to use your oral rehearsal from today to plan more writing tomorrow.